Alright, let's talk Geo characters for a second. On my last video, talking about Albedo and his breakdown, a lot of people shared concerns that this might be another dilemma with Zhongli, where they overhyped his damage and he came out and it's like, ah, this guy's kind of bad, you know, he's not doing as much damage as we thought it would be. But with that, I think it's good to discuss Geo characters as a whole, and we could get a little more insight as what the Geo elements intended to do, and pretty much characters within that element. This by no means is the definitive fact about Geo, and it's like, oh, this is factual. Now, this, this is pretty much how I view it. I see Geo characters as support or utility. And we currently have four units out, the Traveler, Noel, Ningguang, and Zhongli. Most of them have some form of utility implemented into their kit. Most, if not all. I don't think many of them are suited for damage except for maybe Ningguang or High Constellation Noel, but I really don't think that having a main DPS Geo is a good idea, and let me tell you why. The first thing is when building a team, I like to focus on elemental reactions because these bring a lot of value to your team. Uh, with Geo, there's currently only one elemental reaction that it can give off, which is Crystallize. And Crystallize, if you don't know it, pretty much gives you a shield corresponding to any element that touches it. So Geo, if it touches Pyro, you get a Fire Shield, Hydro, Water Shield, and so on and so forth. With that being said, Crystallize would be seen as a supportive reaction. Now if you have this as your main DPS, say Ningguang, and then you just have your sub DPS be whatever, when you do do reactions with other characters, you're only going to be getting the shield out of it. Now is that a bad thing? No, of course by no means is not that a bad thing. If you if you like playing with a Geo character, if you like playing Ningguang, go for it by all means. It is a single player game, nothing is stopping you. But in terms of damage and output, say we have a fire, water, or electric user, their elemental reactions can do significantly more. So fire specifically is one to say, and as well as many of you guys can say, that is one of the best damage dealing elements, as vaporize and melt pretty much just give you flat increased damage, you know, nothing else to it. Same thing with water, it could do electro charge, frozen, and all of them have some form of offensive capabilities. Now personally, I value elemental reactions into a team, and I think this would really help increase your damage regardless. With characters like Traveler, Ningguang, and Zhongli, and Albedo, all of them create some sort of Geo Construct. And of course, yeah, they do have the Geo damage increase on their stat progression. I still don't think it will outshine any other unit. In my opinion, I feel like a 4-star with good reactions and a good build can outdamage a Geo character even with support from another character. Another thing I want to take a look at is Archaic Petra as well. This is the Geo-specific artifact set. Now, of course, you get the 15% damage increase, but as well as the 4-piece, it's also support pretty much giving increased damage to team members with that specific element reacted with Crystallize. So if you have a fire unit and you combine it with Geo, then you get the fire shield, you get 35% damage increase of that particular element. So again, this would be another support type of thing. So pretty much what I want to say is I don't want to give the impression that Albedo is going to do tons of damage and oh, he's going to he's gonna one shot every boss or he's going to clear Spiral Abyss by himself. Not nah, Again, he is a support, sub DPS, he won't be doing that crazy damage. Similar to the Zhongli situation, we don't want to have high expectations for his damage. On top of the Archaic Petra and all that we've talked about so far, even the Geo Elemental Resonance when you have two Geo characters in a team, when you're under a shield, you get 15% increased attack damage. And again, this is, you know, support compared to like, Pyro is just flat 25% increased damage, or Cryo where it's like 15% increase crit rate and you know all that other fan stuff all i'm trying to say this little short video is geo characters are supports geo characters are not going to be the fattest dps in the game could you build a geo dps yeah of course this is like i said this is a single player game if you really like this character and you're fine with these numbers go ahead you know there's no reason not to this is for people who like those big numbers, big damage numbers. Uh, I don't think Geo characters are the way to go, especially if you want to synergize it with more other characters that come out in the future. Should you build a Geo damage character? What I'm trying to say is, can they do damage? Of course they can do damage. Are, is it amazing damage, like really high damage? Probably not the highest, but it still does enough that you will be able to see that it is doing damage. Like with Zhongli's pillar and it has a bunch of other Geo constructs around, you will see some damage and it will provide that extra shield support whenever elements come in contact with it. Again, I don't want to say that any of these characters are bad at DPS because I know I've seen some Ningguangs that hit really, really high numbers and I'm not downplaying any of that. Personally, I, I say build Geo characters however you like them. You know, if you really like DPS, some people like DPS Zhongli, even if the damage is low, some people still build physical because, you know, it's for the attack animation, it looks cool, you know, if it's the way I see it, 
play how you like, and you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Share some builds with me down below, because I'm interested to see some, you know, crazy unique builds. As for Albedo, he is a support. He does build off of defense, which pretty much increases his damage that he does, as well as he does increase the elemental mastery for your team. On top of that, he does create another Geo Construct and the Elevator and all that other fancy stuff, and again, he is a support. Let's just get that out the way. In conclusion, Geo characters are kind of built around being support. Regardless, pretty much everything about that element revolves around support, shielding, and all that stuff. So making them damage, it's not at all a terrible idea. But since this is a team of four, you want to put into consideration elemental resonances, elemental reactions, and pretty much everything that you're going to gain from having other characters. And with Geo characters, they're pretty much your support. You know, we have the shield here, we have the placeable shield here, you know, we have more shield here, but she can heal. With that out the way, hopefully you guys enjoy, hopefully we cleared some things up and understand a little more about the game. If you guys have any more questions or have any video suggestions, leave a like and comment down below. I had requests for Ganyu review later on and I think I want to wait just a little bit longer because Ganyu isn't coming out for a bit. We still have the Zhongli banner and Ganyu's quite the way. Uh, we do have the numbers and all that fancy stuff over here, but again, it is all subject to change. I do want to just wait till we get a little closer just in case, you know, some numbers change around. But with her, I do think she is going to be a good main DPS or a good sub DPS or, you know, however you want to build her. If you have any characters specifically that are already out that you want to guide for, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.